Well, good morning. Coming to you from downtown Pueblo, Colorado on the Arkansas River. I think every time I say that, it's a little bit different. Straight down the river there on that big rock, there's a gray heron sitting there basking in the sunlight this morning. Temperatures are already in the high 40s. Two more people down here are already fishing. Today, I'm going to have a little small talk in the beginning here about uh, indicator size. I'm not a professional or nothing, but my opinion is, is that the smaller the indicator, the better. Never want to have a large indicator. Sometimes I think it can spook them away or in some cases drag or get blown by the wind down the river faster. So I always go with the smallest I can get. Either I use yarn sometimes, or uh, I use the little stick on marshmallow kind. They work pretty good. This, the only thing that's bad about them that everybody probably don't like is the fact that you can't move them that easy. They don't slide up and down the leader very effectively. So, we're going to head down to the bottom of the hole here. We're going to throw a little bit of woolly bugger action. And then after the woolly buggers are a little bit tired for me, I'm going to switch over to some uh, homemade caddis that I got once I start seeing some rise action happen. Right now, I don't see much rise coming up out. So, we're going to stick down right now until it kind of gets a little bit warmer out and these fish get a little more active in the lines of coming up off the bottom this woolly bugger that's on here has got the really heavy lead eyes a little flash in the tail so this will be the section we're going to work today I'm not going to try to make a big movement like I normally do and fish two miles of the river with a fly rod that just takes a lot to do that <clears throat> so I'm just gonna take and uh, work this one section today and we'll see where it ends up okay we got our first little pass going here I'm gonna walk down here to the very bottom end of this and I'm gonna make a pass over here in this stills on the side Got a little rise happening now so should have just switched to the dry right off the bat but I'll just get that one little one with that dry that's okay I guess We'll just go ahead and get one up out of here. Oh yeah, that's a nice rainbow right there. Just a little guy. You know, the water over there may only be three or four feet deep, but I got six foot of leader hanging out there. Or I should say tip it. I tend to count everything that's below my flow to tip it. Nice little bottom feeder there. He's got that jawline that where their upper jaw protrudes down further and they look like they eat off the bottom all the time. I find them all the time whenever I have them for dinner, cut them open and that uh, stomach in there is just full of those little muscles and shells or little crawdads depending upon how big the fish is 
any fish over 16 inches will eat crawdads. Every fish underneath it won't. Seems like everything that's smaller eats those shells or other little insects. Well, after about 40 more drifts and 20 yards upstream, finally got another little one. Oh, he didn't want to show himself to you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm just throwing it over there like that and then just giving it some pulls back to me like this giving it some action well, the strip is what got him that time. Not the drift. Just a feisty little 12 incher. Feisty little 12 inch. Whoop. Right back in the water. Stay away from the pocket. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to catch anything. Well, he didn't catch it. Came off. But it was on the blood midge. Out of the two that are on there. I must say, fishing with nymphs is a completely different thing than fishing with uh, woolly buggers. These nymphs are so light and delicate, and the woolly bugger is more of like a dang machete when it comes to catching fish. We'll get one more for the camera. Little rainbow says hi. Bye. We'll give it a shot to get one more on tape. Oh yeah, that's a nice rainbow right there. Got it on the leader. Ow. Fish is mad. Look at that, 
beautiful rainbow right there. Sweet. Alright. I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah. One more thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Uh, they do subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you. You're all the best. Thank you. Finally got one out of this hole. Oh, come on, 5X, hold it. It's like a 16 or 17 inch rainbow. Beautiful colors. We're in full spawn down here in town apparently. Got my hand on the leader. Come on now. Quit fighting me so much. I'll put you right back. Come on, quit fighting me. Look at that rainbow. It's like 16 or 17 inches. Send it right back down into its little spawn hole. <laughs>